Hello everybody, today we're going to be learning JavaScript with a game called Twilio Quest. Now, before we get started, of course, you have to have Twilio Quest installed. I'll leave a link in the description. And also, I'm going to recommend that you download Visual Studio Code. You can type it in in Google, click on download. This is a very, very useful code editor that I like to use. And if you want to be a programmer, you should get used to using a code editor. Um, if you do not want to download Visual Studio Code, that's okay. I will show you how you can run JavaScript through the browser. So let's get started with Twilio Quest. We're going to go to JavaScript Test Lab. Okay, we're going to go down here. Now to get through here, you're going to need a green key card, which this Twilio scientist will be happy to provide you. Okay, so now we should be able to get through. And we're going to go up through here. And now our first problem. We're going to have to download Node.js. So let's go to Objective. Click on Download and Install. Click here. Okay, go ahead and save that. Once this is done downloading, you're going to go ahead and click on it. And you're going to go through all the steps in the wizard. We can type CMD, click on command prompt. And we're going to type in node space dash dash version. And as you can see, I have this version currently installed in my system. Okay. So now let's continue with the game. We're going to have to find the path. So. That's pretty easy. We can go down here, type in PowerShell, and we're going to have to run a line, which they have provided for us, which is right here. Okay, copy that whole line, right click, copy, and paste it right here, and press enter to run it. And it should give you the path where Node is installed. So go ahead and highlight, highlight the path, hit Control C to copy. Click back here, control V, and press hack. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, so we're going to make a new folder where all of our JavaScript code will reside. So there's two ways that you can do it. You can simply click right click, uh, highlight new folder, and then name it whatever you'd like. But I'll show you how to do it on the command prompt. Now, I'm going to navigate to the desktop, so I'll press CD space desktop, and now as you can see, I'm in my desktop, and I'm going to type MKDIR, which stands for Make Directory, and I'll name it JavaScript. Now, you can name it whatever you'd like, but once you press Enter, now you, have a, you should have a folder that shows up on your desktop named JavaScript. Now we need to get the, the, the file path for that. So there's two ways that you can do it. Now we're going to go ahead and go inside that, that. Now we're going to go ahead and go inside that folder because right now we're still in the desktop. So we'll write CD space JavaScript. And this is the full path that, that Twilio wants. So if I copy this, Control C and control V, this should work. Now I'll also show you how to do it if you created your folder by right clicking and clicking new folder. You're basically gonna navigate to that folder. So we'll go to JavaScript, which is what we just created, uh, which I can't find. Oh, here it is. Okay, and if we open it and click here, this should reveal the full path which is the same exact thing that we got here. So we'll press hack, okay? And now all of the code that we make, we're gonna put inside that folder that we just made. So let's continue. Okay, so here we're gonna have to get past these barriers and find a passcode. So if you talk to the Twilio scientist, she'll tell you what happened. Now we have to get past these barriers. So let's see, let's start this. Okay, now our first 
problem, we're going to simply console log a, um, a message. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to do that on the actual browser. So open up your browser, right click and click on inspect. Okay. And here, if we press console, I can actually execute JavaScript code here. So for example, I'll write console.log and then I'll write, I can write anything I'll write. I'll write hello world, but I have to make sure I have parentheses. Hello world. Close it with parentheses. Okay. I'm sorry, quotation marks. I always confuse that. You have to make sure you have quotation marks here and we end each line of JavaScript code with a semicolon. So if I press enter, Notice it'll print out a statement, hello world. Now, Twilio Quest wants us to console log this right here, okay? So if I take this, copy it, and paste it, we'll copy, I'll paste it right here and press enter, and notice it'll console log the same whatever message I put in here. Remember, don't forget the parentheses. Now, how can I actually make a file with the console on the browser. Let's go to sources. You're gonna press plus for a new snippet. Now Twilio Quest wants us to name this file say please. So we can name rename this file say capital P say please dot JS and here we can take that same message and paste it right here. If you press Control Enter, it'll it'll execute this code. Okay. Notice how it'll print it out over here. Okay. And now we can right click, we can save, and we can save it wherever we want. But I'm going to use Visual Studio Code moving forward. So let's go ahead. Let's copy this this whole line. We'll copy. Open up Visual Studio Code file a new JavaScript file. JavaScript, okay, and we'll paste this right in, okay? Now we have to save this file in the directory that we made. So if you can remember, I made a, a folder called JavaScript and we have to name this say, please make sure you have a capital P dot JS. And again, make sure you save it in the folder that you created. So once we hit save, here I have this saved, okay? And now let's see if this works. Awesome, okay? Let's keep going, okay? Next. So here we're gonna declare variables and we need to, first we're gonna create a file named laserconfiguration.js. We're gonna declare a variable named laser status and we're gonna set it to a string that's off. Okay. So let's open up Visual Studio Code. Let's make a new file. Again, we're working with JavaScript. Now there's a few ways to declare variables in JavaScript. So the way that we're using right now is, is with the with the keyword const, which stands for constant. And the name of the and the name of the variable it should be called laser status and it should set it to a string off. So let's do that. We'll name it laser status and we'll set it to a string. Don't forget the parentheses labeled off. Okay. Now this is one way. Oh, and of course we, uh, we end all JavaScript lines with the semicolon. Now there's a few ways that we can set variables we can use the keyword var we can use the keyword let okay but when we use the keyword const this variable remains unchanged sometimes we can declare variables and we can change it but if we use const we cannot change this okay so let's save this and we're going to call this what are we calling this laser configuration dot js so let's go save as 
Okay, laser laser configuration dot js. Check your spelling and make sure the C is capital and make sure you save it in the file that you've created. I'm sorry, in the folder that you've created. Okay, and now let's press on hack. Cool. Let's go to the next one. Okay. So we're going to declare variables using multiple JavaScript data types. Okay. So we're going to create three variables. And these are their names. Okay. And we're going to set it to these values. Okay. So I'm going to do the first one. And I'm going to let you guys do the next one. Okay. So I'm only going to show you the first one. And you guys should be able to handle the next. So let's new file, JavaScript. Oops. So the first variable is verified user. So again, how do we declare a variable? We'll write const, and the name is called, let's double check verified user user okay and remember uh the capitalization okay we're going to set it to a boolean value true so we're simply going to set this equal to true okay and that's it okay now notice i did not put in quotation marks because if i put quotation marks i'm setting it to a string called true and I don't want to call it, I don't want to use a string. I want a value, a Boolean value. And Booleans are true or they're false. So right now, this is declared as a value, a Boolean value of true. Or again, I can make it a Boolean value of false. Okay, true. Now for the next one, you're going to declare these variables here. So how do you declare them? You're going to start with, oops. You're going to start with const. The name of the variable, name of variable. And what are you going to set it to? You're going to set it to number seven. So you're simply going to write the number seven. Okay. And here, the last one, favorite robot, we're going to set it to a string set to Cedric. Now, remember, if I write Cedric, this is incorrect. Okay. I need to make this a string. And how do we make a strings? We use per, um, quotation marks. Okay, so go ahead and finish finish up that code so you can go ahead and get through. And don't forget to name your file chess configuration. Okay. Chess configuration dot JS. Save. And now if you've done it correctly, awesome. All right, let's do one more before we take a break. Okay, write a code that uses data pass in via command line arguments. Okay. All right, so check this out. We're going to be using the command, uh, the command line with this one. So let's go ahead. Go ahead and read through all this so it, it'll explain everything in detail. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and take these lines of code, and I'll explain exactly what this means. So let's go ahead and open up a new file, and we're going to take all of this code. We're going to take all of this, and we're going to copy it. Control-C. Let's go to the code editor and control V. So let's take a look at this code and I'll explain exactly what's going on. Now the green lines over here, these are comments. And right now, these two slashes, that this basically says, hey, skip these lines. This is not lines of code and we can use this for comments. So we can write whatever we want here. This won't be executed because of these two lines, okay? So let's read this together. The line of code below reads in the value of the argument passed in after the name of your script. So what does that mean? Let's go look. Uh, let's go look at this. 
And right here in the command line, we want to run this right here. This is the first argument. This is the second argument. And this is the third argument. Okay. So basically what they're saying is we want to process argument number two. Now in programming, we always start with number zero. Okay. So if we go ahead and we looked at this again, this would be number zero. This would be number one. And this would be number two. Okay. So we want to process number two, which is 48. Okay. We're going to take that argument value and we're going to change it into a number. Now, again, this line is a little confusing because it may already be a number. Okay. So for clarity, we're going to skip, we're going to skip this right here. Okay. We're going to take this argument and we're going to name it argument value. Okay. We're going to take it and we're going to turn it into a number. Okay. And we're going to take that number value. We're going to divide it by two. And whatever that answer is, we're going to name it result. Okay. Now here, if I run this code right here, I'll get console log 42. But that's not what I want. Because I want to be able to console log 42 without hard coding 42, just like they said right here. So here, if I change this to um, result, it should, it should also give me 42. Okay. Let's run this. Make sure you name this correctly. Make sure you name it divide by two. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to run this on the command prompt. Let's open up a new command prompt and we're going to have to navigate to that folder that we created. So we'll go CD desktop, CD JavaScript. Okay. Now that I'm in my folder, I want to run that program. So we're going to use a node to run the script and the name of the script divide by two dot JS. And we have to give an argument, let's say 100. So if we hit this code, this should give us 50. Awesome. Okay. Now let's give it another argument. Let's say 50. And here we get 25. So this is how you use the command prompt to execute JavaScript files with arguments. Divide by two. There you go. So make sure your spelling is correct. Okay. And now we can go here and grab the password. And the password is pew, pew, pew. So let's go back. Go to this computer and put in the password. Pew, 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 exclamation mark. And all right, we did it. But it looks like it's causing an explosion. Uh-oh. What are we going to do? All right, so we're going to take a break. And we will continue our adventures in the next video. Bye-bye.